So I want to get a full disclaimer out there before I start this video. If you are a Carl Frotch fan, I would maybe recommend you switch off this video because um, I'm going to go in on him in this video quite a bit over comments he made, once again, about Andre Ward. And, you know, I'm going to really just almost show Carl Frotch kind of the error of his ways to an extent and just kind of put things into context because Carl Frotch... Many things he is, and some of them good. And I always give credit for credit to you on this channel. And I've said several times when I spoke about Carl Frotch, fantastic fighter, wasn't scientifically or technically the best fighter out there, but he got by just on Nick Grit, fitness and determination. Warrior. That's what Carl Frotch was. A true modern day warrior. Fantastic to watch, fun to watch, entertaining. I always like watching Carl Frotch fight. As a fighter, he deserves nothing but respect, you know. He was an overachiever in many ways because he wasn't very athletic. He really did do it all on Nick Ritten Fitness, but again, fantastic fighter for what he was. As a human being, on the other hand, oh boy, this guy, this fucking guy, I swear, he really is one of the most dislikable characters I've ever come across. And... You hear people say things about, well, Tunde Ajayi I said this, so, you know, he's annoying. He said X, Y, and Z about Andre Ward. With Tunde Ajayi, you really get the impression that what he's saying is more or less kind of... It's kind of him trying to almost speak in, in a positive sense. That, you know, someone like an Andre Ward, he'll talk about and say, you know, oh, he struggled with Sergei Kovalev, but, you know, we won't. That's how confident we are. Stuff like that. You can kind of tell that... There's a bit of delusion there, but you can tell that he really wants to kind of get it across that he's positive about certain things. Whereas Carl Frotch, I'm just going to quote here what he said to Sky Sports. He said, Carl, Sp Carl Frotch, I should say, says that Andre Ward only came to England because he knew I was in Spain. I'm grateful to Andre Ward. He made me the animal that I became to beat Lucian Boutte. From there, I sold 80,000 tickets at Wembley Stadium. He could not sell out a phone booth. That's what Carl Frotch had to say. So I'm just going to go and interject on all this, right? Andre Ward works for ESPN. He is a commentator slash analyst. And although Andre Ward beat Carl Frotch in the ring, guess what? He's beaten him on the analyst stage as well. Because Carl Frotch was, I say was, the worst commentator I have ever ever heard and I've been watching boxing in a long time and it was originally Lennox Lewis but Carl Frotch took over that mantle until Tony Bellew sashayed into the clearance and then he took over that mantle but Carl Frotch is one of the worst commentators I have ever heard he really shows his ignorance whenever they ask him you know how this fight is going and you see a scorecard and it's like 10 even rounds out of a 12 round fight because he hasn't embraced what he's looking for Andre Ward is a boxing expert he knows what he's looking for you look at his scorecard and that Luke Campbell Vasil Lomachenko fight that was on point with what a lot of people had he had a very close fight he was breaking everything down likewise with Huey Fury against Pavekin he was understanding what was going on and he was wondering why Huey Fury is not doing this 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 proper break breaking it down whereas Carl Frost just looks at a fight and is just like yeah I scored that round even but that's literally all he says and of course Tony Bellew is way worse so that's why I said until Bellew sashayed into the clearance Frost was the worst commentator I ever heard so Andre Ward didn't come to England because he knew Carl Frotch. Andre Ward would not be... Andre Ward beat Carl Frotch. Andre Ward is undefeated. He beat you. He beat you. Yes, you may have avenged your loss to Mikel Kessler. Joe Calzaghe was not in his physical prime when he beat Kessler. And he'd done a much better job on him than Carl Frotch did with an over-the-hill Kessler. Seriously. So, the stuff Carl Frotch says, and he says he beat Lucian Boutte. How many losses has Lucian Boutte had now? Five? Six? You know, Lucian Boutte should have lost before that Carl Frotch fight. I forget the name of the guy he fought. I don't think it was Edison Miranda, but I, I could be wrong. It was somebody Lucian Boutte fought, and I think it was the last round, he got dropped heavily, he was out on his feet, and the referee just didn't just give him a count, he gave him like a 40 count. Like, this was absur absurd what he saw in this fight. So, Lucian Boutte, he was unknown. But he was never that good, realistically speaking. He was never that good. And he lost the guys like Badu Jack. Who else did he lose to? To Gale, Alvarez. Did he lose to someone else? I think he might have. So, Lucian Boutte, never that good. And in terms of the 80,000, I mean, come on. Is he ever going to stop with that? 
you know, yes, Andre Ward is not probably the most entertaining fighter out there, but for somebody coming up just to watch Andre Ward and watch the skill he has, that is what you want to watch for. You look at the skill of Andre Ward. If you were an up-and-coming boxer, you would never turn around to him as a coach and say, look what Carl Frotch does, do that in the ring. You'll end up punch drunk before you're 30. Do what Andre Ward does and you'll end up undefeated. So Carl Frotch, again, he just shows his ignorance because I don't think it's trolling. I genuinely do think Carl Frotch is just a really, really genuinely ignorant guy and he just believes all this stuff that Andre Ward is afraid of Carl Frotch. Andre Ward wanted that rematch. Carl Frotch wanted it in Nottingham and he admitted, you can go and look at it, you can go Google it, Carl Frotch 2015, he admitted he couldn't beat Andre Ward in a rematch. He knew that he wasn't going to beat Andre Ward. And he says things like, Andre Ward is a dirty fighter, this, that and the other. And then comes out and says, well, Andre Ward beat me clean as a whistle. So, if Andre Ward is dirty, why wasn't he dirty with you? Shows he didn't need to be. Andre Ward absolutely schooled Carl Frotch. That was not a close fight. I know two judges had a close... That's not... Luke Campbell versus Vasily Lomachenko was a competitive fight. Those scorecards don't make it look competitive, but it was. So, things like that, he says, you know, I don't want to hate on Carl Frotch because this isn't me hating on him. This is just me speaking facts. Me me speaking facts. Carl Frotch was a good fighter. Was a very good fighter. Overachiever in many ways. But this whole bitterness he has towards Andre Ward, you know, it's silly. And I'm going to close it off here. But before I go, I would just like to say, if Carl Frotch should ever listen to this video, I just want to leave you with this before I end this video. Carl Frotch. Andre Ward beat you.